You're watching The Daily Decrypt. Welcome to Currency Competition. I'm your host, Amanda, and today's episode is brought to you by BitShares. The first block, found by mining hardware that supports Bitcoin Classic, was found on Valentine's Day morning. It was found by P2XT Pool, one of the six or so small pools that currently support Classic. Concurrently, in the last week, the number of Classic nodes has doubled again, going from about 500 to just under 1,000. Classic nodes now represent 16% of the Bitcoin network, with Core at 80% and a combination of XT and Unlimited making up the remaining 4%. Classic will only break away from Core if 750 out of 1,000 consecutive blocks, 75%, are mined with hardware that expressly indicates its support for Classic. This is a monumental task when compared with Classic's current one block out of the last consecutive 1,000. While bigger Bitcoin blocks is the obvious goal of Classic supporters, some have begun posting online that their hoped-for upgrade need not result in an actual fork at all. Osmund is the name of the operator of P2XT pool, the one that mined the first Bitcoin Classic block. He tells the Daily Decrypt, the Bitcoin network only forks if the last 25% of mining decides that they don't want to upgrade during that 28-day grace period, and they manage to find a block after a greater than one megabyte block has been found, and they keep mining on that chain. Economically, that makes no sense if all exchanges and merchants have moved to the new Classic node, which they most certainly will, if they want to stay in business. If support for Classic continues at its current growth trajectory, it's possible that Classic could achieve 75% of Bitcoin's hashing power. Operators like Osmond have been upping their game, offering zero fees to any miners who point their hardware to Classic supporting pools. It used to be said that altcoins would be test beds for Bitcoin, but it would appear that the opposite is true. Bitcoin, being the first, is the current and biggest test bed for the decentralization of all of the things. And it ain't easy being first. Today's episode is brought to you by BitShares, which has recently converted its web and desktop engine called Graphene to an MIT license. The BitShares community also invites you to join their upcoming liquidity event on February 29th, which will focus primarily on USD, Bitcoin, and BitShares trading. You can learn more about the liquidity event in the link in the description section, and you can try out the Graphene wallet for yourself at openledger.info. Have a cryptographically sound day, my friend. Thanks for watching. Woo!